Uh, Charlie suggested I do a drum roll for our oh, next yeah, guest, but you, I'm, you know, I'm intimidated, to be honest with you, to do one in front of Robert Plant. Oh, that's true. <laughs> well, I can't play the drums. <laughs> I, bet you can play them, I bet you can play them better than Luke. I have no idea what timing is. I just surround myself with people that do. <laughs> that can't be true. Well, I don't know. I'm saying that because it's very early in the morning and I'm floundering. <laughs> it's for you. <laughs> uh, morning, Robert. Lovely to see you. Uh, Robert Plant, best known from his days as the lead singer of Led Zeppelin, but he has spent most of his career as a solo artist, drawing influences from across the musical spectrum. Uh, his latest album, well, you tell us, is it a long way from your rock roots? That's what we're just about to say. Um, I just think it's another development along the way. You know, you, there are no rock roots. The roots are in folk music and blues and whatever you listen to um, when you're a kid and they develop as time goes on I think. Well we can see how it's developed now. This is Rainbow. We're all listening to that after what you said about the influences stuff Robert. So you were mentioning Roy Orbison there. Yeah. Mm. Because people might be hearing it. Yeah, I mean I hadn't thought it before but yeah, no, yeah. after you mentioned that. Well you know <clears throat> that whole sort of falsetto singing coming out of America is beautiful. Um, even black guys, uh, Otis Rush, I once played with him with, uh, in the 90s, <clears throat> and he used a lot of falsetto, and I said, where'd you get that from? And he said, Gene Autry, cowboy singer. Um, so that whole Nashville Orbison falsetto thing is mm. really impressive. You know? uh, and just describe for people who haven't had to listen um, yet to it, the album, it's a kind of a mixture of so many different types mm. of music, including yeah. Moroccan as well, is that yeah. in there? Mm -hmm. Well, um, I've been fascinated by rhythm and by the scales of North Africa. You know, they're the sort of blue notes within the different scales in different countries. Our music here uh, is governed by our history, you know, our roots and in, in North Africa and Spain to some degree. Um, you get this beautiful, these musical scales that are so haunting. And, uh, and the rhythm, too, that we use as on that song there, you know, it's just... Uh, it's just hypnotic and stuff. And you speak Arabic, is that right? A little bit, shwea. Um, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> shwea, depending on, yeah. Now, you talked about musical scales there. A lot of people say about your vo uh, voice, which, you know, people have studied. I'm sure they've done whole theses on your, on your uh, voice. But you, had, you have had and have a remarkable mm. range, don't you? There's something that was, a, that was, a, was that a gift? Yeah. That was just something you had naturally? Well, it's on a good day, it's all right. Um, I think in, in when I was uh, singing with Zeppelin, uh, the PAs were pretty poor, the sound systems weren't very good, and um, I know that the guys like to play in E, so you get a lot of open chords, you get a lot of resonance on the guitar, so I had to sing in a key where you either sang really low, or you have to push it a little bit. Well, in order that you, you, mm. st you stood out? So you well, could to, really to make an impression make an melodically against a really low, low key stroke, high key. So that was really um, challenging. But now, I mean, I just, I'm with people who can change key. Uh, there's a little bar that you put across the guitar, and then so you can sing anywhere, really. And I really want to use textures on my voice, and mm. I want to sing about stuff that's important to me. And, and so it's very seldom that I need to go to a crescendo. Can um, you still do it? Well, I can't do it now for you. No, I wasn't. Not, <laughs> not even with a drum roll. Too but, early. But it's yeah. there still. It's yeah. in... I, well, I don't know whether it, it, it was the other day. Yeah. But tomorrow is another day, and tomorrow we do some radio stuff for the BBC, and I don't know whether I'll even summon it up. <laughs> I've got a few pockets, you know. <laughs> and tell us, um, um, how is life for you? Because you're back, you, you, you've spent a lot of time in yeah. America, haven't you? Yeah. And back here, watching your favourite football team quite a lot these days. Well, it's the... Uh, the almost the leaders of the championship, Wolverhampton Wonders <laughs> Football Club, and I am one of three lifetime vice presidents, along with Rachel Hayhoe Flint, and Wolverhampton's finest dame, and um, Steve Ball, the great soccer player, who really should be a knight, at least. You're um, starting a campaign now. Yeah, yeah, well, you know. Um, so, yeah, I love... I, I went away. I, my children had flown the nest, and the, the grandchildren were calling me and asking me what the football's like and all that, and I thought there's something wrong with this picture, so I went off to see the world and I parked here and there and there yeah. and there, and then one day I thought, well, uh, it's time to go home now, I wanted to see the autumn, and uh, it's so great to be back on those Welsh borders, it's not far, you know, from here, and, um, and you're in paradise, the next big city after, say, Worcester or whatever it is, I think mm. is New York. Oh, lovely. Uh, now, I'm always fascinated. When you had a, a long well. career like you have, mm. and of course, the, with Led Zeppelin previously, 
Do you meet people now, younger stars maybe, who you bump into at awards mm. events, who surprise you with their, their interests or their knowledge? Have you got any names that you talked about, people have you met more recently, possibly, who have... Um, well, it's, I, I don't know how good this TV moment is, but no. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was hoping you were going to come up with some rap star who was oh, no, 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 the biggest no, fan no. ever. I mean, or, no. uh, I, I mean we, we got this little fraternity, our band and the people that we work with, and it's mostly fringe um, musicians who work with, say, Transglobal Underground, Natasha Atlas, this sort of, the more, the, the musicians that collide with style and culture rather than... Rap artists. And what does that mean? It means uh, keep away. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, I don't know. There's not going to be a collaboration anytime soon. I don't soon. think so, no. no. Um, tell us, uh, will you explain to me as well the title of the new album, Lullaby and the Ceaseless Roar? Mm -hmm. What does it mean? It's life. It's just life, really, you know. I mean, it's all around you and it's all around me and, in, and internally I'm always like, whoa, 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 what's going on? And. Um, I guess that's what it is, really. The dynamic of life is mm. really what... It's such a, an amazing life that I've had. Spectacular. So it's all on the go, moving fast. I love that. You don't take yourself very seriously at all. I love it, because some people get very serious around the music, don't they? Yeah, and but it's only music, you know. It's only a kind of box of chocolates or a trip to the movies or something like that, or, a, you mm. know, going up the walls. Some, it's just people's options are wide open. And... Uh, I guess in the early 70s, it tended to get a little bit carried away with the, the way that things developed and the enormity of the thing. There were no rules and there was no real boundary and barrier as to how things were going to come about, how they were going to take you. So, but now I know exactly it's, it's a fiasco. It's just great fun. <laughs> it's a fiasco. Sorry, and just quickly, Waiting the, to happen. the grandchildren, would you like them to go into the industry? Have any of them got My granddaughter, Sunny, yeah, she's playing and singing. She's oh, a great uh, singer and great writer. And she's got a very mature style. She's down in Bath and uh, she's on um, the different media outlets, you know, SoundCloud and stuff. She's, oh, she's really, really greatly talented. And the younger boys, my grandson, uh, Cassidy plays bass and guitar, and uh, Floyd, his brother's ten, plays drums. Harlan, my other grandson, plays guitar and so sings the was... most impromptu songs. He sounds like a very young eight-year-old Leonard Cohen. <laughs> <laughs> but he's very meaningful, and they're very, That's very... That's quite a combination. Yeah, I mean, the lyrics are pretty uh, mature. He's talking about love. Oh. Can, can, I, can I see a plant oh, family we... band yeah, coming is. on here? Uh, no, they won't let me stay up that late. <laughs> <laughs> it's really lovely to see you. Thank Thanks you so much. Yeah, great. Thank uh, you. Robert Plant's a new album. It's called Lullaby, and the Seatsless Roar is out now.